Hello, thank you for watching. In this video, we are going to go through one of Poe's most masterful works, one of the most well-known poems in American literature, The Raven. We're going to have a summary and analysis of the poem itself. So let's start by going through a summary of the poem. First, it's midnight on a cold evening in December in the 1840s. In a dark and shadowy bedroom, our speaker, uh, our, the poem describes it as a chamber, with probably a dark connotation associated with chamber, but it is the same as bedroom. Wood burns in the fireplace as a man laments the death of Lenore, a woman he deeply loved. The whole poem centers around this deep love and grief over the loss of our speaker's beloved Lenore. To occupy his mind, he reads a book of ancient stories, but a tapping noise disturbs him. When he opens the door to his bedroom, he sees nothing, only darkness. And throughout the beginning of this poem, our speaker trying to distract himself uh, by reading this book of ancient stories, trying to forget his sorrow we're getting some really dark, melancholy choice of words that create this dark, melancholy mood. It's very rhythmic, but it's also very, very depressing, really. When the tapping persists, he opens the shutter of the window and discovers a raven, which flies into the room and lands above the door on a bust of Athena, Pallas, in the poem is how it's uh, worded the goddess of wisdom and war in Greek mythology. It says nevermore to all his thoughts and longings. The raven, which is a symbol of death here, tells the man he will never again see his beloved, never again hold her, even in heaven. And throughout this dialogue, this one-sided dialogue between our narrator and the raven, the speaker gets increasingly angry with the bird and really intensifies up to the end where our narrator is shrieking at this bird who is shooting down any hopeful thoughts our, our speaker had about ever again seeing his beloved Lenore. So let's do a quick analysis. It is a very rhythmic and musical work. This poem really entrances readers and listeners alike with the use of various literary devices, including uh, end rhyme, internal rhyme, alliteration. It really reads like a song. It has a dark and melancholy mood as well, rather than choose uh, words that have no clear connotation or uh, implicit uh, feelings associated with a word. Remember, connotation is, is the feelings behind a word and denotation is the literal dictionary definition. We get these words that have a dark, melancholy connotation. Speaker, Our speaker, uh, our author, excuse me, Edgar Allan Poe deliberately very deliberately chose his words to create this this mood that emulated his feelings associated with the poem so is this raven in the poem a pure projection of grief was the raven ever there at all there's evidence that supports both that there is a literal raven as well as a hallucination by our speaker and it's really up to readers to decide here uh, which evidence is the most compelling uh, as far as the raven being a literal creature or a figment of our of our speaker's imagination something that he's so in, uh, entombed by his grief that his mind makes up this creature that, that flies in his room, 
perfectly still upon this bust of Athena above the door and stays there to have a conversation with him. No, ravens don't talk, however, but does that doesn't necessarily mean that there was no physical raven at all. Maybe there was a raven, however, our speaker uh, made up part of the poem. Uh, maybe there was no raven at all. In the end, this really is the quintessential dark romantic American poem, and Poe will always be remembered for the raven as far as his contribution to poetry in American literature. Thank you for watching.